Hey, this is Mikey with another After Effects tutorial. In this video, we're gonna take this boring animation of just a zoom and a position change, and we're gonna turn it into this a lot less boring animation that almost looks like it's slow motion video. It's really simple to do, and let's get started. I've got this uh, turtle layer here. It's just a sea turtle going into the ocean. Um, let's. What we're gonna use is a gradient ramp and a displacement map. So let's grab a new solid layer. Doesn't matter the color, but it needs to be comp size. And then to this, I want to add under layer styles, gradient overlay. And I'm using the gradient overlay because it has a little bit more controls. I can tr control the angle and I can edit this gradient. And what I want is I, I want it to be a little bit harder of a, a line up top, but I still want it to be a nice soft gradient. So I'm just going to kind of bring this midpoint up about like that. And let's also change the angle just a tiny bit. So let's take that gradient overlay, pre-compose it. Since it's a layer style, in order to be able to use this, I need to pre-compose it. So gradient comp works. So And then also on this turtle picture, I need to duplicate that, and you'll know why in a minute here. And I'm going to pre-compose the bottom layer. So Command-Shift-C. Okay. So let's go ahead and hide that upper layer. And on that turtle layer, let's add to this an effect under the Distort menu called Displacement Map. And let's switch to the Gradient Comp for the Displacement Map. So if I just change the vertical displacement, you can see looking pretty good and if I don't like the way the gradient works you can see right there it's starting to do funny things when I go really high well I can go back into this gradient ramp this comp and maybe I want that to be a little bit of a softer of a transition so I can bring that down and maybe that black I want to be not so dark Something like that. Let's see how that affects it. Okay. That's working pretty good. So now what we need to do is let's take this top turtle layer and I'm going to just do a quick mask around the turtle using the pen tool. And I'm not being super uh, careful. You can be, of course, as careful and as detailed as you want. Uh, but I find if I just get uh, rough and then just kind of slightly feather it, it actually does a pretty good job. Okay. And then I hit F on the keyboard. It brings up the feather controls of the mask. And let's say like 10. Okay. Now what we can do is when we, when we move this, it's not going to move the turtle. So I want to start... Probably at zero on the displacement. Then we go forward and we let's go to 60. Okay. Now let's keyframe the position of the turtle. Go forward and then let's just move the turtle up. I'm just hitting the up arrow on my keyboard. And to make sure it's kind of perfect, let's look where that shadow is. And it needs to go up a little bit. Okay, so now the turtle isn't deforming as it moves. And you've got a little bit of a parallax kind of going on. And then the, the last thing we need to do is let's go ahead and parent the turtle, um, the one I cut out to the turtle layer. And I'm going to keyframe the scale and position. And now we've got 
a very subtle kind of a move, but you can see it looks so much more lifelike. Now, if we wanted to add more to this, say we wanted to add some nice soft waves. Well, now that we have this, the background in its own composition, let's go into that composition, duplicate that top layer, and I am going to then mask out one of these lines of waves. Okay, just like that. We can solo that to we, so we can see. Yep, that's what we want. Let's feather that edge. And let's move the anchor point using the pan behind tool to right on the horizon line. And actually, I need to make sure I mask out the horizon as well. Just about like that. Then at the beginning, let's go ahead and hit scale, go to the end, unlink the two, and then just kind of move it like that. And I might even in come in here as well to under distort, put in a CC slant, grab the floor area and put it right there on the horizon as well, and slant it just slightly. And let's scale it out a little bit. So now what we have is we've got it kind of moving. We need to keyframe that slant as well. So we at the end it's negative 20 and at the beginning we have it at zero. So it looks like it's kind of moving across that way. And then when we go back into our comp, well then we've got the waves kind of moving across towards the turtle. So very subtle movements and it adds so much more to this than your basic scale and move position. So if you're doing a slideshow, yeah, it took a little bit longer, but it adds a lot more um, life to the picture. The key thing to this, again, is using the gradient ramp and the displacement map to create kind of that the movement in the background. Um, adding the moving waves also helps as well, and then separating out this turtle so that you can see that it's not being deformed by the gradient ramp and the displacement map. So I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial. If you have any questions, feel free to comment. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe to the channel. We do lots of great tutorials every week. Thank you so much, and we'll see you next time.